search of their topic some are senior teachers also present here uh, those who will be taking up this course behavioral finance in their respective universities and colleges so this some senior teachers are also there uh, so this is a mix of this senior teachers senior research scholars young researchers and young teachers very, very good very good great so now sir over, with over to you sir thank you so much sir thank you so much okay guys so uh, please tell me if my slides are visible to you and if i am changing it to you if the change slide is also uh, visible yes sir it's yes sir yes sir so you can see the change the slide in the speaker's background yes yes sir, sir. is it now uh, under your screen the speaker's background the slide yes sir okay so it is just a very brief uh, introduction of my background that uh, i am currently working as a dean technology development and also in professor of information technology while coordinating the india's first uh, btech in business informatics program so uh, this is a very important uh, area in business informatics which is much larger than the business analytics which is generally very uh, popularly uh, used in many different contexts so i am visiting professor uh, to be fortunate in five different uh, overseas university one is the university of paderborn germany where i worked for continuous five years so every year i used to go as a visiting professor to do a co collaborative research and teach some course modules and then also i worked with the university of messina italy so now you can see another picture i am shaking hands with the uh, president of uh, university of messina italy who is also equivalent to our director or vice chancellor in india and uh, next i have worked also the third country is norwegian university of science in norway and also in indria france because indria is not a university it's a research institute so they gave me the title of visiting scientist which was equivalent to visiting professor and also fifth one is the national institute of informatics japan where also i could work as a visiting professor so i have successfully completed uh, two wonderful projects one is uh, indo norway which is on the cyber physical security of uh, critical infrastructure in smart cities in india and second uh, i am in data driven decision science which is more close to what i am going to talk to you today i am also coordinator uh, project coordinator with cyber security domain with the ccri hub in iit kanpur and also i have uh, work in a very sensitive and confidential uh, uh, technical project on network simulation test bed this was a project by rbi technology board of government of india where we have done some very important uh, uh, research project work uh, successfully completed also with, before uh, triple it ilahabad i have been also uh, i have worked in triple it naya raipur also as a founder dean for two years and before that i was in uh, state university in chatisgarh i was the founder head of the school of computer science also i am a board member of many institute including the gujarat technical university uh, which has uh, a smart city in the school this is briefly about my background so that you can always query and ask me anything on this also so now i am going to give you an outline is it my outline slide visible to all of you yes sir yes sir thank you so as uh, very rightly professor anjit singh who is also a very close friend of mine that we work together in cross disciplinary area as well and he very rightly told that you have to do a hands on after this session so my uh, session is exactly a prerequisite of that session as you can see the uh, 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 five major bullets i am reading the five major bullets black one first one is evolution of it which also says the internet based technology i will give a very very brief overview in one or two slides then importantly i will talk about the social media and what are the analytic approaches that is important to understand then i will very quickly connect you to the uh, area of data mining Uh, which is a very popular terminology also many of you might be knowing it already but i will give you a formal de uh, definition and connect also with a very important term which i'll be giving a lot of time is uh, opinion mining opinion mining so i will be uh, third uh, will be this one the fourth major topic will be social analytic technicalities and that technicality i will briefly tell you what are these terms associated with for example 
data scraping uh, is one important uh, step in the social analytics, social media analytics. Similarly, NLP or natural language processing. And the third one is sentimental analysis. And the fourth one is text analytics. So sentiment anal analysis also is in some way called opinion mining. So they are not very different thing. But one, uh, once I give you overview, and second, I will elaborate and give more detail. So a lot of discussion will be coming back to the opinion mining in my presentation. And lastly, but not the least, the practicalities here, that what are the tools, techniques available, and what are the research issues till my last uh, outline. So these are a broad overview of what I'm going to cover you with you in the uh, next one hour. Is it OK? Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, your name, please. The girl who sees that. Uh, it's uh, Dr. Nazi Adamala. Okay. okay. Can you please read the first statement which I have written on the slide? So it's, it is social media means Facebook, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and nothing else is really significant, right? So this is my question. What will be your answer? <laughs> Do you agree with this, or uh, you have anything other than this to say? Uh, no, I feel sir, it can be any any matter which is available on internet. Mm -hmm. will, uh, yes, sir. Okay, which very good. So you are very rightly pointed out. Uh, mostly people only think that the Facebook, WhatsApp, and LinkedIn that's all the whole media, but this is not right. It is a social instrument of communication, and it is not limited to only Facebook, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, but actually social radar, social radar rather includes much more, much more. Social media is meant for leisure, entertainment, and uh, to communicate with uh, near and dear ones. And thus, it does not have any financial aspect, right? What will be your answer, please? Not really, sir. No, uh, I feel. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, you, you go ahead. Yeah, please, please tell. Yeah. So it uh, it ha does have some impact on financial aspect as well, as mm -hmm. there is this peer uh, group kind of a thing which is happening, where mm -hmm. if one influencer influ uh, shares that this stock is doing well, or this app for stock market is doing well, trading stock market, okay. then many people do get influenced by that specific meme, reel, and so on. Okay. So we all are agreeing to the fact that social media is not at all now limited to the uh, leisure entertainment and just for communication <laughs> it has some very serious uh, financial aspect right? yes sir rather these days our demand is driven by social media ads only uh, we have this digital marketing concept and things like very, that very very right very very right so you would also agree that not only in uh, broad terms but the answer says that uh, it does not have financial aspect right no Social media is an essential part of digital transformation of businesses worldwide. And it facilitates social media marketing. There's a very special class of uh, marketing, which has also tools and techniques and software and platforms, which is a part of digital marketing paradigm. So it is not at all limited to the leisure. Now I also have one more question. Can you read the last question now? Does Wikipedia and Quora are also so what do you considered say? part of social media? Yes, sir. They are very much part of social media. They do influence our decision making. They do uh, have an impact on the understanding of the concepts. Mm -hmm. Oh, very right, very right. So what we can see, the social radar also includes a special term called social knowledge. Social knowledge, which is also part of the, uh, we can say, the broad revolution which we are witnessing now. And definitely, Wikipedia and Quora are also part of it. So when you say social media analytics, you not exclude the Wikipedia and Quora. And why Wikipedia and Quora? Because they are also something which we can contribute to. You can write something to a question in Quora or answer in Quora, and you can raise an issue in Quora. Similarly, in Wikipedia, also you can contribute some part of the article or information 
or some advertisement if you want to have so i will tell you next slide that the social media has expanded much more and one particular area is called social knowledge social knowledge which is also included in the social media so how come social media data be useful for business insight any answer to this question knowing the market yeah please you can tell your name please Uh, so I'm Dr. Nazir Jamal. Uh, firstly, I would say that uh, it will contribute the uh, availability of the social media data would uh, decide the uh, competitive strategy of the organizations. Number two, in order to forecast our demand, also uh, the social media data helps us. Number three, in order to influence our expected target market, also we use social media data. Very in order to create branding of the company also we use social media data mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes in order to uh, crash our competitors we also use social media data so there are innumerable advantages uses of this uh, social media data very very true very very true wonderful so i am very happy to have such informed uh, participants already on board so i i think my next one hour is going to be fun for all of us okay so let us see how we can address these various issues but before that i proceed i would like to use the punch line of one of my famous researcher in uh, data analytics it says that we are powering in data but starving in knowledge when we say social media data you can imagine that every hour you are generating terabytes and terabytes of data but so much of data around us is not making any sense unless we make some important business insight we derive useful knowledge some wisdom and that's why we say this still there is a need of our technologies who can transform this data into knowledge so it's a very very important field i must again congratulate uh, professor ranjit singh to bring this uh, forth and i will uh, suggest you that it's going to be a future uh, domain of uh, high demand so there has to be i agree with what prof nagbushan told in the morning you should create a, a center you should create a chair you should create a small uh, uh, unit which works in social media analytics for uh, behavioral finance or otherwise also you can work on it and this technology requirement is very highlighted in this so now my the next questions will be to answer uh, what i am raising here so what exactly is analytics first of all analytics is data driven so no analytics will start unless you have useful meaningful data in appropriate format second point in the comma outcome oriented so any analytic is not going to just be a uh, a process which is an yield into something it has a very specific target in the mind and every analytic will end with some specific outcome what questions it can answer now this is very very important any answer to this one what question the analytics can answer so it can uh, it may answer how what when uh, why of a, a particular phenomena mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. further how can you improvise that particular phenomena can also be answered through analytics part very good what what new can be done to improvise that phenomena can also be the aspect mm -hmm. which we can take care of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. perfect perfect so let me try to give you uh, the shape to this answer which is already wonderfully uh, provided by you and then also i have another uh, thing to your mind uh, to bring to your uh, information is social radar social radar and digital transformation we are transforming almost everything to the digital world we are transforming our social interaction we are transforming our business transaction we are transforming our teaching and learning we are transferring our work from home all offices works are already on the digital media so this is a very very huge moment especially post pandemic there are many activities which are still going to be continued despite that the pandemic restrictions are removed many companies are still telling their employees to not to come to the office even now or maybe come all, only once a week or once a month but continue from home so now it's a huge huge transformation going on 
And for us, it is important also that we are getting the data being generated through all these online uh, interactions, digital interaction, and there are digital footprints available. Digital footprints available. So this is social media analytics versus data analytics. What is the technicalities between them? How data mining or social media mining can be related? So my next thing will be to ask some more questions from you. Now, in the general in analytics, if I handle for my retail shop or online shoppers, I wish to simply devise discounting package. Can analytics do it for me? For a retail shop or for online shop? Can analytics help me in devising discounting package or combos? Anyone, please? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, by understanding the demand pattern of the buyers, we can create the combos. So the, the, the data might help us in creating, designing the uh, discounting pattern. Very true, very true. The data analytics already has proven this capability that they can help you in uh, making some business strategies defined and implemented. But you should understand that analytics exactly will not be able to do it. But it can tell you the combination of some items sold often together, which can eventually help you. So automatic generation will not be there. There will be some analytic result which needs to be combined with a proper business experience and acumen, and then only comes to a, a decision a discounting policy. How can I understand the buying pattern of my customer? We all know that data analytics through its various approach can bring hidden pattern in your purchase data to your knowledge. I wish to prepare my future stock of items as such that they are neither too much, no, no, neither too much nor it's too less for the customer demands. How can analytics help you? Well, techniques like regression analysis, Bayesian classifiers, with appropriate data can tell about future probability. So there are many interesting technical areas, but what are the different types of analytics? Analytics also has been you know, categorized on various aspects. One aspect we can say that from the technical point of view, it can be categorized as a descriptive analytics, descriptive analytics and predictive analytics, descriptive analytics and predictive analytics. Another way to look at it, we can say, no, I want to categorize as consumer analytics, consumer analytics, or I can also categorize as a financial analytics. So there are many, many different ways of categorizing it, but what actually it's going to answer is like this, like this. So on the left side, I have written some questions. After the arrow, I have made them, which one of them are retrospective, that means it talks about the past, which one of them is present, and which one is about the future. Can any one of you please tell me out of this question, read every question and tell me whether it is about the uh, past, present, or future. Uh, sir, excuse me, I guess you have not seen the slide, please. So can you see it now? Yes. So there are uh, five questions, uh, and they have past, present, and future. So which course, which question pertains to the answers of past or present? Or future? That is the that is the answer. What happened is for the past. Surely. What is happening is present. Very Why good. did it happen is also past. Okay. Uh, what will happen is future. Why do I want to happen? It will also be future. Okay. So now it's an interesting way to look at it. And uh, I think you can also see the whole uh, uh, transition that I've shown you. Can you see the new slide, uh, Internet-based technologies? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now you can see what we started from the left side was a simple email initially which was something like a typewriter can type some text but cannot include the graph and image and video. So we started from that point of time. Email, then World Wide Web, then the Facebook started, Skype, YouTube, Flickr, Twitter, IPTV, WhatsApp, and you can see how 
we have progressed. And the supporting technologies has parallelly also supported it. But thing is, can Google, Facebook, Twitter, we have any business use perfectly because you should also have a strong uh, sense of chronology in your mind when I say that IT has changed the world again. Why again? Because first it started to change when internet was born long, long back. 30 to 40 years now has passed when we already had internet. But the least technology, which is started from 2003, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, mobile app, and WhatsApp, you can realize that they are very recent technology. They are very recent development. It has transformed the everything in a context of what I can tell you, the social media as a digital transformation of business. And what it offers, it offers to connect 24 by 7 by 365 and 360. 360 is the degree, globe. Web access to desktop, personalized to group recommender systems. And now, for the digital transformation of business, I can definitely tell you what are the various components. So now you can see on the left side, there are a lot of uh, uh, important development in the social media and the related technology which affect the businesses are website design, search engine optimization, PPC, social media analytics, obviously, and email marketing. So what we are concentrating is social media. So if I ask you what does social media include, so you always have to answer that it is defined as a web-based and mobile-based internet application that allows the creation, access, and exchange of user-generated content that is ubiquitously accessible. That is the formal way. And of course, not only Twitter, Facebook, but also social media and passes uh, RSS feeds, really simply, uh, really simple syndication feeds, blogs, wikis, and news, all typically yielding unstructured text and accessible through the web. An important thing is that it's an instrument for change. So you can say now covering all of them are the social media radar. Can you see the picture on your screen, social media radar? Yes, sir. If you look at carefully from the top, social networks, which also definitely has all the ingredients like LinkedIn, uh, Fourth Square, and Gowali, then also Twitter and Facebook, has social streaming. They all are also part of your, uh, your consideration. YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr, iTunes. Then you are also, the, very importantly, the social search. The Google search engine started with the Google uh, text, Google product search, Google Plus. Yahoo, similarly a social knowledge which includes Wikipedia and Q&A section, article sites and niche communities. Similarly, I have a company blog in, uh, in terms of what I can say and also company forum, mobile ads, RSS feeds, which is blog and also social customer service. Social customer service, you can always uh, address your uh, customers through this. Also social publishing. Which, which involve Google publishing, uh, display networks, publishers, blogs, general media sites, niche sites, and now social benchmarking, social network has completed the social radar, the complete social radar. So you are not very confined only to think about four, five, six uh, social media sites, but your zone of consideration is very, very large, very, very large. And now you can see what exactly is social media for analytics. For analytics. Naturally, the data is clearly the largest, richest, and most dynamic evidence base of human behavior, bringing new opportunities to understand individuals, groups, and society. So there are huge amount of explosion because of the data services, software tools for scrapping, and analysis, and social media analytics platform. I will tell you some of these uh, terminology, but do any one of you have idea about the scrapping? What is the scrapping? Any one of, any one of you? Scrapping? Uh, 
Okay. So let me let me tell you that it's a very very important thing to understand some of the technicalities and what exactly is social media for analytics says that the early business adopters of social media analytics were typically companies in retail and finance. Okay. So what they did initially, retail companies use social media to harness their brand awareness, product customer service improvement. Advertising and marketing strategies, network structure analysis, news propagation, and even fraud detection. Even fraud detection. Retail companies initially used it. But in finance, social media is used for measuring market sentiment. And news data is used for trading. As an illustration, born in 2011, Beecher sentiment of random sample of twitter data finding that dow jones industrial average prices are correlated with the twitter sentiment two to three days earlier with 87.6 percent accuracy so the study was accurate for 87.6 and what it told it was exactly your the theme of this particular workshop behavioral finance with social media social media here is twitter sentiment and what are the business side do jones industrial average dgia prices so they are directly shown already in 2011 that they are affected in two to three days okay wolfram also in 2010 used twitter data to train a support vector regression model to predict the prices of individual NASDAQ stocks, finding significant advantage for forecasting prices 15 minutes, 15 minutes in the future. So this was the area social media was hugely involved. And now what I can tell you very strongly is innovative scientists and industry professionals are increasingly finding novel ways of automatically collecting, combining, and analyzing these wealth of social media data and analyzing social media in particular Twitter feeds for sentiment analysis has become a major research and business activity due to availability of web-based APIs, web-based application programming interfaces which is provided by the companies like Twitter, Facebook and and news services. So uh, can you read a slide? Social media analytic research requires? Yes, sir. Yeah. So now you need what actually the researchers require. You are not supposed to be always a technical person if you want to do the social media analytics. But as a research, what do you require? Researcher will require analytics dashboards. Dashboards are something which on which you see the display. And it's a non-programming interface, okay, which are required for giving what might be termed as a deep access to raw data. So it will be looked at something like something like a bar diagram, pie charts, some very uh, overlapping uh, uh, shapes they will be shown on analytics dashboard next important requirement is holistic data analysis so you require the tools for combining multiple social media why only facebook and linkedin i want to combine twitter along with linkedin along with some more uh, more news feed so combining them together and deriving in meaningful information that is a holistic data analysis Data visualization that also require a huge important tool. So this uh, also leads to the technicality which I am going to very clearly define. Very often you will be encountered with this term, so I have tried to give you a definition in one place. NLP is actually natural language processing, like a field of computer science, artificial intelligence, and linguistics, which is concerned with the interactions between the computers and human language. When I was speaking to you in English or in Hindi or any other language, I simply speaking, can somebody capture it by audio, convert it into text, analyze it properly, 
and come out with a summary of whatever I have spoken for one hour only in five minutes. Can you do it automatically? Answer is yes. Computers are perfectly ready that my uh, speech will be automatically recorded, no human intervention. A computer will record it. My audio will be converted into text data. Text data will be fed into an NLP processor and summarize the five minutes abstract can be automatically generated. NLP is very, very exciting field. Uh, Triple IT had earlier a very strong NLP research group with Professor uh, Sanyal was the Sumi Sanyal. Unfortunately, he left us uh, to another university here with Dr. Ratna Sanyal. They were the prime movers of NLP in Triple IT. But very, very interesting applications they have produced. So this is one area which anybody in the analytics has to know. Second important thing is opinion mining. I will come back to this in very detail in the next slide, but I want to just tell you is the area of research that attempts to make automatic systems to determine human opinion from text written in natural language or words spoken by the, by the audio signals. Next is the most important part called scrapping. It means collecting the online data from social media and other websites in the form of unstructured text and also known as site scraping or web harvesting and web data. So one of our uh, very uh, bright student Aditya will tell you uh, the practical tools and approaches of scrapping as I was uh, informed by Professor Jit Singh. So you will know more about it, but I will come to this area again and again, sentiment analysis, text analytics and news analytics. These are the social media jargons that will be used using it very, very often, very, very often. So St. I already tell you, now the next is text analysis. It involves information retrieval, lexical analysis to study word frequency distribution, pattern recognition, tagging or annotation, information extraction, data mining techniques, including the link and the social analysis, visualization and predictive analytics. Similarly, is a news analytics. So you use the knowledge of uh, your technological advancements towards the automatic analytics of news. So now I come to the more detailed discussion and uh, I would like to ask some questions. First is, what is data mining? Uh, how many of you are aware of a formal uh, definition or a meaning of data? Can you please tell me? What is data mining? Any one of you? We have a large number of participants. I would like to listen to them. So can I call you by names, if you don't mind? So I have uh, Pratibha Gupta. Pratibha Gupta. Good afternoon, sir. Can you please? Uh, sir, uh, sir yeah. I am pursuing my PhD from Pech Chandigarh. OK. Uh, sir, so sentiment are basically uh, the emotions that are uh, in the investors, uh, okay. if we talk about investors. Okay. So uh, it deals with what are they feeling uh, regarding the, the investment opinions. Okay. So Nazia want to say something here? Yes, sir. Uh, as per my understanding, it is bas it basically means extracting the trends and patterns from a particular set of data so as to make useful analysis. Very good, very good. Anybody else? Do we have anybody else to, to explain about this? Rosie, want to say something? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, what did you stand on this? Uh, sir, uh, Sir, uh, in simple layman language only, I can say about yeah, sentiment. These are yeah. emotions, yeah. exactly. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. The emotions that uh, are attached with an uh, individual, where um, while we make in decisions making, we use it for uh, d taking decisions. Sir. Very good. It's not not at all uh, incorrect. It is very Investment good. decisions, not on. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you're you're in the right direction, more or less. But technicality, I would like to come to it. 
with more background required for it and the first technical background requirement is a brief understanding of data mining can anybody of you aware about the data mining what is data mining in general not opinion mining data mining sir process yes, sir. Of data okay uh, into more clearer and uh, okay. uh, clearer classifications so okay. that the, the meaning out of it can be identified very good very good so now my next question is is data analytics or data mining or machine learning are the same thing because today shekhar verma was telling a lot of about machine learning so are these three terminology are they all exactly same so data mining is a part of machine learning okay okay i think so these are the steps we might follow like first mm -hmm. data mining then data analytics that is first class of classifying and then putting some statistical tools on them to analyze them and i am not sure about machine learning so far okay thank you so very honest answers anybody else want to add to this discussion is that these are some very similar looking technological domains which are broadly related with your workshop title of uh, social media analytics but even experts uh, used to miss out on how to characterize each one of them and even if you are carelessly using them in place of the other one more or less it works out it is okay there is no need to be perfectly 100% accurate you can still say something broadly that it is analytics or it is data mining or machine learning although although strictly speaking they are having fine differences but let us leave these differences to the to the uh, technical people we come back to the next question is opinion mining uses data mining techniques or it is different what do you say i think yes sir is just that uh if we talk about numerical data that is data mining and if we talk about uh, more of qualitative data like taking the opinions of the uh, people on social media present on social media that will be opinion mining that is that what my take so okay so what are the various sub tasks sentiment analysis it is a very broad area the number chahiye i think somebody is uh, not muted and trying to do something else Please. So, what are the various subtasks in sentiment analysis? Can anyone of you tell us various subtasks in sentiment analysis? So, first collection of data, collection of the uh, okay, qualitative data. Very good. Then uh, defining them in the classifications, mm -hmm. also known as themes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And then further identifying the each classification and analyzing it. Okay. very good approach to have a uh, uh, general overview of uh, various subtasks let me now try to answer this question more technically perfect so first question is that are they same data mining machine learning are often used frequently how can we define one of them at least called data mining so let me give you a perfect formal academic definition of data mining can you see the new slide of data mining definition Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will hold it all for a for a minute. I want you to very carefully read it and tell me what do you understand. is it too complicated too technical the non trivial process of identifying valid novel potentially useful and ultimately understandable patterns in data this is what data mining if it troubles you too much with technicality i can simply tell you the process of identifying unknown patterns in data a process of identifying 
unknown patterns in data that is data mining now this is a sub something which was uh, which was uh, developed in the very early early years of uh, 2000s and then we moved on to various uh, approaches using the business aspect of it and then in the business i can tell you the process how it flows first you collect store manage clean and the pro and process data any data it can be any data this is the first step it's called curate curate second is summarize you can have a provide in table chart and other summaries and then you can go for description or descriptive approach called identifying identifying meaningful patterns then comes the most exciting part of it called prediction predict so you understand the causal relationships to predict the future scenarios causal relationship what is causing something other to happen third is create the create the future through informed value driven choices informed value driven choices and this third three parts are bracketed as the various types of analytics descriptive predictive and prescriptive how many of you have uh, understood the meaning of these three words descriptive predictive and prescriptive what is the meaning of them so when we will be doing descriptive analysis we will basically clarifying the uh, characteristics of the data whereas when we will be doing predictive analysis so we will also be focusing on the fact that what on the basis of certain characteristics of the data what would be the future outcomes and on the basis of prescriptive analysis we would be suggesting that this should be done to improvise the phenomena very true very good so you can see uh, there are definitely different ways different ways of uh, doing the analytics and these ways are broadly uh, depending on the business choices what what decision what action you want to take and that's why i would like to come to very quickly to these broad approaches called descriptive and predictive these are the most sought after most researched areas in machine learning also you can say data mining also you can say or analytics also is applicable word to that so this broad category of descriptive under descriptive you have one called association rule mining and second is called clustering analysis where predictive largely has the classification techniques so descriptive provides meaningful insight many techniques and algorithms for descriptive approach is already available and they all are most of them are also applicable to social media analytics social media analytics so association which provides the causal structure and second is clustering which which do the data grouping based on some similarity or dissimilarity and then it comes to the next important part called prediction predictive approach and it prediction is done generally based on the past history you require huge amount of past data to be processed and there are two category classification and regression i will not come to technicalities now but it is very very clear that these two are connected to the third part called social media analytics which takes care of sentiment analysis also we have known it as opinion mining also one name is emotion ai emotion ai emotion artificial intelligence is a use of natural language processing text analysis computational linguistics and biometrics to systematically identify extract quantify and study affective states and subjective information it's widely available to voice of the customer materials such as reviews and survey responses online and social media and healthcare materials for applications that range from marketing to customer service to clinical medicine this is very hugely being used so whatever a review you are going to type automatically they gets uh, through these sentiment analysis that are so now what are the different technical uh, technicalities data mining versus opinion mining 
So opinion mining is an attempt to take advantage of vast amount of user generated text and news content online as they are generally you automatically process them and the aim is to determine the attitude of a writer or a speaker with respect to some topic or the overall contextual polarity of the so if i can ask you the uh, next the question which i asked you already now the more technical answer here sentiment analysis are having different sub task first is sentiment context so when when you say that data collection is not very technically correct one because unless you know the context of it there is no meaning of doing any data collection so first context second sentiment level what you want to uh, and it is can be can be conducted at the document sentence or attribute level which level you want to conduct sentiment subjectivity okay then sentiment orientation or polarity or you want to find out from all the twitter trends uh, only about being positive neutral and negative three categories that's the polarity sentiment strength how much you want it you want uh, the opinion of a text where you want to understand what whatever is written is a mild sentence or is a strong sentence or a weak sentence so you want to con uh, infer out of the three that's why the sub tasks are divided five sub tasks of sentiment analysis now as you can do the basic research challenge if from you guys somebody will tell you okay you have to start uh, a project on social media analysis what will you do if you have to understand the first important thing is the social media scraping and analytics provides a rich source of academic research challenges for social scientists computer scientists and funding bodies challenges include scraping which is uh, which is applicable through the apis which i think uh, you will be in the demonstration by aditya due to the commercial value of the data most of the major sources such as facebook and google are making it increasingly difficult for academics to obtain comprehensive access to their raw data then next area is uh, scraping which is in all this new services like thomson reuter and bloomberg they also do this so similarly you have the related issue like social media programmatic access data sources services and tools data feeds via apis text cleaning and storage tools these are the intermediary steps to be done and the whole problem can be shown in the flow chart like this can you see a small flow chart on your screen yes sir so now you can see the how the things have to start and what are the different steps and what it will ultimately yield so first define problem what exactly you are looking for what questions are we trying to answer second locate the data sources don't underestimate the power of data if the data appropriate data is not available your question raised uh, above uh, is completely irrelevant so maybe you have to go back and redefine the questions according to the data sources available now after that if you find out the local data sources locate data sources then crawl or search data sources based on keywords then create data model and then comes the running of analytics and it's in a loop that you use the tools you choose appropriate tool first of all and try to interpret the results and at the end if you develop some insight then you can see that the whole data social media analytics process is completed so as you can see this is a very general uh, uh, words i have tried to use for you to understand the whole social media analytics but you can understand it's a complete one semester course uh, if you add the business uh, uh, part of it along with the behavioral finance it becomes rather more interesting so there are many uh, methodological tools available 
but they are generally discussed in the three level data analytics and facilities so data is generally how you get trouble with uh, the technology like spec scrapping ones and they use the various uh, technological tools analytics component actually requires to deal with the text cleaning and the storage tools text analysis tools transformation tools analysis tools and most importantly last but not least are the social media analytics platform if you don't want to do anything like data collection cleaning scrapping and all that just go to some sample social media analytic platform or sma uh, platform which is one of the facility and one of the most popular one worldwide is the news platforms such as thomson reuters providing news archives and feeds in a digital form and associated analytics and targeting companies such as financial institutions seeking to monitor the market sentiment in news and similarly social network media platforms are also available these platforms that provide data mining and analytics on twitter facebook and wide range of other social network media okay so these are already available platform but the major if, if you look back if you allow me to look back as a technology professional i can say in the last decade the easy availability of apis provided by twitter facebook and news services has led to an explosion of data services and software tools for scrapping and sentiment analysis so i have tried to just survey some of them and give you in a very very uh, easy uh, language as as easy as possible still if you have any questions and queries you can just uh, you can come back to me after this uh, next slide but now the last uh, last point i want to make that thought which uh, comes to my mind as a researcher is a very very strong sense of uh, you know uh, frustration in the sense that there are the biggest concern that the companies are increasingly restricting access to their data to monetize their content and that is very frustrating news because as i told you in the last slide it is important that researchers have access to computational environments and especially the big social media data for experimentation otherwise computational social science could become the exclusive domain of major company government agencies and a privileged set of academic researchers so this is continuously almost every company is playing foul tricks and they are not allowing you the real online data and current data other they are applying you old data selected data uh, you can say uh, not very clearly uh, usable data and that is a very big question in front of all of us doing the analytics research so it's more or less uh, from my side i have some references to be added to my uh, conversation and now i close the session and open it for any further our discussion yes am i audible yes sir you are audible thank you rajiv ji for so, letting me express myself <laughs> sir it was actually it's our privilege that you have given your precious time to us oh, uh, yes. any question uh, participants so we have listened to professor op vyas sir uh as he has rightly stated that this is actually a total one semester course but uh, the whole objective of this workshop is that if we can just get enlightened and get some interest about the uh, social media analytics then the rest of the things we can do it later on also uh, contact details of uh, sir is also there aditya is also there so sure, if sure. any one of you have interest or could generate interest in social media analytics then later on we can have some collaborative research or we can have an extended perfect. learning also perfect perfect so anyone having any question uh, what whatever sir has discussed with this and that will be better because i know that one hour or one session is not enough to understand this social media analytics 
but still one hour is sufficient to generate kindly, interest so kindly provide the recording of this session yeah recording, the recordings are already there recording will be supplied to you